Hi everyone, welcome to Learn for Exam. I am Atreya Roy and in this video, I'll share something that NMAT students might be very much into, right? Now, if you're taking NMAT, you already have registered. If you have not, please go to the website and create your account. What would happen? You would get one mock and two attempts to that mock. So this is all about that mock that is present in their website to check out what kind of things come in the exam and everything. So they call it an adaptive mock, I presume. Uh, so I just wanted to share with you what is there in the mock. If you have not taken the mock as of yet, I'd, I'd ask you if you are very much serious about NMAT, go and take this mock first and then watch this video. If you have already taken the mock, then please do watch this video. It contains something very imp important. Okay, so let's start now. It's about the quantitative aptitude blueprint and analysis. Now, kitna questions are time, kitna wo sab aapko already pata hai, adaptive test hai, wo bhi aap logo pata hai. To kya bolna hai mujhko is video ke uh, uh, through? The question wise list. Now, there are 36 questions in this uh, entire paper, right? And I wanted to share ki kaise type ke questions are in paper mein. So, if you go through all the 36, you know, questions here 18 here and then again uh, 18 here you would see that what do i have the major chunk is based out of data interpretation right and you have uh, 12 questions of data interpretation and apart from that we have three major things one is arithmetic the second is a mix of algebra and modern maths and the last is numbers and data sufficiency now if you see, bohot achche se, you people should take the mock and then see this. But agar aap dekho, na hi geometry ke questions hai, mensuration ke questions hai. You don't have, you know, through uh, difficult uh, chapters in algebra like functions and all those kinds. I have not mentioned those as of yet because I just wanted to keep it open because I don't want you people to, you know, watch this video without any use, right? So make sure you take that exam, take that mock and then see this video. Tab aap logo pata chalega. Uska pura analysis. Now, so agar aap question paper ko dekhoge. Now, I've taken that exam. I've taken that mock. And this is what I got. This was my paper. I had 12 questions on data interpretation. All of them were easy to moderate level. I had 5 questions on data sufficiency. Now, data sufficiency se jo questions the. Out of these 5, 4 were from number system. Was One was from tumara, uh, percentage change. Okay. All of those 5 were very very easy modern maths one probability and two p two probability one pnc tha and um, uh, three questions total again level of difficulty was easy to moderate not even moderate say upar okay modern maths is a chapter jahan pe difficult questions bante hain but yahan pe again the questions were easy to moderate geometry mensuration ke there were no questions at all number system definite number system ke questions the two general counting ko maine arithmetic pe rakha hai theek hai now number system questions were moderate dono mein ek bahut easy tha ek one was moderate so i've kept it at moderate uh, algebra you can see three questions only easy to moderate arithmetic is largest chunk of questions bane the 11 questions out of 36 so that's almost 30 percent right 30 percent say Almost around 30 percent, right? So, and all these questions were easy to moderate. Now, there was only one single question which I can rate to be difficult from arithmetic. Okay, not that difficult. Uh, and this is the level of difficulty chart. Now, out of those 36 questions, level one questions, level two questions, these are the easy level questions. Level three is the moderate. Level four also I would call it, you know, moderate to difficult. And level 5 are the difficult ones. There were only 3 difficult questions in the entire paper. And if you leave out the last 8 questions, that is level 4 and level 5, the remaining 28 questions were solvable under 45 seconds. Yes, were solvable under 45 seconds. All the remaining 28 questions. You might be slow at calculation, aapko thoda zada time lag sakta hai, but it won't take you more than a minute to solve these questions. Now, what does it tell about the paper? It means that the paper was a very easy one. It might have its own implications, it might have its own reasons, but uh, pe jo main aapko bolunga ki jo mock hai aapke website pe, it would be really easy one. Hai? So, go 
take that mock please do take that mock make your own analysis this was my analysis i found the mock to be easy and it was good scoring so what i feel if you are prepared well enough you should score somewhere around 100 in the quantitative ability section 100 ke niche agar score karte ho chalega so try to score in the range of 90 205 this is a really good score in this paper okay try to get that uh, and then do analyze because you need to understand what is the level of difficulty which questions are you making wrong after you're making wrong is the next question easier or difficult everything of that you need to do it yourself at least once to understand the paper pattern because this year it's not going to be same as the last year so please do keep these things in mind Okay, if you need any help from our end, these are the courses that we provide. If you need any information, you can go to the website or directly call our WhatsApp on this number. These are the test series and special courses that we have. The details about the courses and test series and these are the reviews and results of Learn for Exam classes. You can pause this video and check these ones out. And if you have not connected with us, make sure you connect with us over YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and Snapchat at Learn for Exam. Go take that mock. I wish you all the best. Have a very good day ahead and take care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye.